Hey folks, welcome to the Wolf Den, where cool products get discussed. <laughs> well, here I am in the Wolf Den with two new cool products. These are something I've been wanting to try for a long, long time. And you're asking yourself, you've been wanting to try out some lighters, Dave? Nope. I've been wanting to try out the, I'm going to say, Bose Line Cutter 2. And this is www.bose.net. Well, guess what? That website don't work. At least my computer won't let me take it to there because it's probably a China website. What this is, is the B Line Cutter 2, meaning the Bose Line Cutter 2. This has a little safety latch right here. Pop that off. This opens up. And what this is, is a little shielded torch uh, lighter line cutter. See that? Now, it gives you this groove in here to get close into when you're doing rigging. You can put this right up against whatever you're tying. Let's give it a try. This is 60 pound mono. Okay. Yeah, it melts it right up. See how it does that? So let's say we're going to cut it. I, I, I think you're supposed to kind of go like this. Okay. You're supposed to pull it, or it'll just sit there and crinkle. Where it really kind of shines from my five minutes of experimenting here before I decided to do a show and tell. This is 100 pound Power Pro. You may say to yourself, damn, when the hell am I ever going to use 100 pound Power Pro? Well, you are if you get on my boat this summer because I've got two reels for shark fishing completely spooled up with it all right it's this is actually called a torch lighter stick it in there hit it and it carterizes the end it's really for i mean it really works great with braid i got two of them and the reason i got two of them is so i have one at the house here in the old wolf den maybe one out on the boat and the thing about it is, I mean, you know, torch lighters, they're not super expensive if you wanted to get just a regular torch lighter. That's what this would be. Except, like I said, this one's got the shield on it here. What makes it a torch lighter is how it lights. All right. And you see that just little bright light show up right there. It's not like there's a huge flame coming out. And then you close it, and then it's got a little, make sure it's got a little safety latch there. You fill this up like you do anything else with some high-quality butane. I got the benzomatic butane here that would go in a benzomatic torch. Take your top off, and you go into that little hole right there. It's kind of got a spring-loaded little nozzle there. And all you do is push it in. And that's going to fill it up. It's just that simple. You can see in here the liquid mark because, of course, that's liquid under compression. So the reason I got is I've always wanted one. I just always wanted one. And I looked on eBay, of course, and they were like, I don't know, pretty expensive on eBay through a place that I've bought some stuff before. If you remember me when I got my, um, I got my chiller fish bag that sits upright on the deck. Um, that, that fish bag came from Blue Bottle Fishing in Australia. Well, he had these on eBay. But he told me, oh, geez, you know, the eBay shipping and all that is kind of all messed up. So he said, just go to my website, 
bluebottlefishing.com in Australia. I even before then, I went and looked on Amazon. And on Amazon, they were $38 a piece free shipping. For this, $38? I'm not spending $38 on this. I mean, just to cut heavy braid, cauterize the end. I mean, that's what it does to the end. All right. Carterizes the end really nice. So I I wasn't gonna go and get it off of Amazon either. So what I did is I went to bluebottlefishing.com. Well, like on his website it seemed to be even cheaper. And the one thing cool when you buy from this guy in Australia is um, when you go to visit his site, basically it almost knows where you're from and it it changes the currency and I really like that so what it boils down to is I bought two for $38 instead of one for $38 and this is just one of those nice to have items is all this really is I'm not gonna be whipping this out just when I'm tying on a quarter ounce jig head or anything but when I'm doing some serious rigging and I'm doing stuff like uh, 100 pound braid here I cut this is 200 pound mono here. Let's see how it does on the 200 pound mono again. Um, it doesn't fit in the groove. But it'll melt it. I mean, it's going to melt it. That's no, no two bits about that. Okay, there you go. And Look at that. You can make a little, little mushroom cap on it if you wanted. So it does melt it. Of course it's going to melt. It's just like a lighter. Okay. This doesn't fit down the groove here for no 200 pound mono though. I guess if you were doing this all the time, you could widen this little groove right here with a file or something. But that's the moral of this here story. I picked these up. I've always seen these. You know, these are big, you know, Japan and those guys with all their Gigi gadgets. And I have been known to be Captain Gadget from time to time. So I got two for one, and I got, uh, what, what do they call it, just economy shipping from Australia? Five days, folks. Five days. I have gotten stuff from Ohio that took five days, United States Postal Service. Five days from Australia. The difference is airplane airplanes make the difference so I wouldn't hesitate on ever getting anything from this guy again got a wonderful website that blue bottle fishing website is as good as anything you'll ever look at so I'm gonna put his website in the video description where it says show more under this video it'll say show more on a computer I don't know what it says on a phone, but on a computer, not a pocket computer, but a real computer, it'll say show more. You click on that and that's where the information to order these, I'll actually put up the page in which they come from right on his website. Take a look around, great website, great products, great shipping, great prices. I mean, what can I say? You're not going to find these in the United States. And if you do, I guess they're $38 a piece. So um, there you go. The Bose line cutter. I always wanted them. So I got me two. For doing really heavy duty braid most of the time. And getting right up close to rigging something. That's what the whole idea is for me. Shark rigs, taking um, and doing an FG knot or something on from braid to this 200 pound leader or from braid to this 60 pound mono. It's it will be really it's going to be really nice to get on in there and go pssst, and be able to carterize the end of your braid so it's not frayed and all that good stuff. There's other videos in non-English on YouTube.
but I figured this might be something that'd be interesting for folks. There's not much to this. You got a flame, basically, adjuster on the end. And that's it. So you get these. See here, you get your little bottle of butane. And from what I've read, just about other torch lighters that guys do paracord and stuff like that. One bottle this big with one of these will last you, should last you years if you're just using this um, fishing wise to make yourself some um, heavy duty rigs and you want to carterize the end of that braid. Just a little FYI, Australia blue bottle fishing, Bose line cutter, and it's the line cutter two. And I know what the two was. The two was is they used to make these and they didn't have actually a big guard here, believe it or not. Now you can find one if you find it. Um, I looked for it and I couldn't get it. And Shimano makes one like this, little bigger, little heftier, and it's actually got braid cutting snips built into the side of it anyhow and and some kind of like line pick built into the side i can't even imagine what that one costs so captain gadget here from the wolf den with the bose line cutter 2 thanks for watching and i'm sure there'll be some new nifty products coming in the future don't forget subscribe and if you want to Send this off to somebody. Go ahead. Share it for me. I need all the help I can get.